I'm Ben. I'm Emily. And this is our fairy friend Alan. We all live full time on board our 56 foot narrowboat. Join us on our travels as we explore the UK canals and rivers. Good morning everyone. We are at Calverley and it's forecast to be really cold this week, reaching minus five. Lots of frosty days. I think there's going to be some snow hopefully. Yeah, so we thought we'd just do a bit of a week in winter kind of video. I'm sure there'll be lots of cooking and just general sort of life on board. So let's see if we manage to keep warm enough this week. I think that doggy wants the swan. So Emily's worst nightmare has just come true. There was a big explosion. I didn't know what was going on. There was a big gush. Suddenly a big explosion from nowhere. <laughs> Water everywhere. It's like, what the hell's happened? What's happened? It's one of the brewing bottles just popped on us. Was it full of wine? Was it full of rowdy beer? No, no. no. It was just full of sterilizing water. That's just its legs. So there's water left. everywhere and so glass. got a big mess now. Look at that, it's so thick, I can't believe. Yeah, they're, they're for fermenting these bottles, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they are the proper ones. They're not like the ones from Ikea that are just like popped up for some squash or something. Oh, it's all over the floor and it's all behind here. But... Will you wash that bit? Mm, look at it out here. Everywhere's so wet. Oh my God. How are you doing? You all right? Oh. Is that nice? Just finishing off some orders. People are starting to order for Valentine's Day. Lots of love hearts. 100 tiny love hearts I've got to make. And Benny's gluing the other things. So that wants to grow. The briefest smiles divulge a style of the friendliest of home. That sunset was about five minutes ago, and now it's snowing. First snow we've had this year. Where's the chocolate buttons? In the bag. I like to share my hopes with you like an optimistic child. Well, that was quick. I'm impressed by this snow, considering it's the first snow we've had. All the clouds have gone now though. Well, it's got chillier. It didn't snow for very long earlier, but we've just packed the fire full of coal for the night. And apparently it's snowing tomorrow morning and then all of tomorrow afternoon and evening. So hopefully we'll have some proper snow, not just 30 seconds of it. Warm enough. <laughs> it's a bit overkill. Got three covers on and a massive jumper. It's um, colder night tonight. I think I'll be all right. Do you want to see out? Look, it's frozen. Oh, <laughs> it's a bit of a winter wonderland, isn't it? This is Alan's favourite place to sit. So you can watch the world. It's super toasty in here. We've got a really good fire going. Thanks to Benny. Are you off out somewhere? Hey. I've got to go look. Are you going outside? Nice. Oh, yeah. You're right there, Benny. Just because we're on a boat doesn't mean that we don't do any chores, you know. <laughs> what are you on about? Here we go. It's time to clean the floor. Do people need to see you mopping? Of course they need to see. They need to know the truth. It's not all just lying on your back, laughing your head off. It certainly there's, is not. There's pure graft like this as well. Why are you starting in the middle of the boat? That's where I start. We're on a boat now. It's not the same as a house. All right, I'm going down this end. Right, I'll you for first. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I don't know what's going on with him today. He's having fun doing the chores anyway. What are you doing? What's going on? Have you broken the hoover? 
Are you hoovering up wet stuff? No, I'm not hoovering up wet. Something you got a blockage, mate. It snowed, and Alan's out in it. Is it too cold for you? Oh my goodness! What an entrance. Might be deeper snow tomorrow, Alan. Yeah. She likes the snow, doesn't she? Do you remember when we were in the house? Yeah, she loves snow. She does, Scratch around in it. She does love snow, our Alan. <laughs> She's happy. It's a crisp, snowy morning. How is it out there, Alan? Are you falling through the gaps a little bit? My oh, girl. Morning. Right, I'm going to go out for a walk. It's lovely and sunny again today, and there's still snow. And I haven't left the boat for about a week because I've been working so hard, so. <laughs> yeah, let's go for a walk, guys. So we're pretty much out of wood and as we've mentioned before we don't really like buying wood we usually forage it so i'm just on a search to find some while i'm on this walk look at that i wonder what that is maybe like old storage i don't know maybe somewhere the farmer used to put their animals i don't know it's they're quite small um openings how unusual they seem to go straight onto the canal, so maybe it was where something was loaded onto the canal boat. Anyone know what that is? So for the last, oh, I can't even remember, maybe like nine months, we've been on narrow canals, which means the locks are only wide enough for a narrow boat. I've just walked down the towpath a bit further, haven't found any wood, and I knew there were some locks, and they're double locks. I haven't seen double locks for so long. They look huge and it's really weird to see. I don't actually think we're going to be going through these yet because we're going to turn round. There's a turning point just there, a winding hole, because we're going back to Nantwich because as we mentioned, we're going to Portugal for two weeks and my dad's looking after the cat and the boat while we're away. So we thought, yeah, I think I explained that Nantwich is a nice place for, for him to be while we're away. But then we'll be turning round again and then coming back this way to go to Chester when we're back. So yeah, it's gonna be really strange doing double locks again. They look huge, quite intimidating. But we started on the Rochdale when we first got the boat. So I know we can do it, it's fine. It's just getting used to it again. I think I'm just gonna carry on walking down the towpath. I still haven't found any wood and if I do it's going to be a bit of a long walk to take it back but it's such a nice day. Make the most of it. Okay, I'm going to head back. Looks like a little kitty's been this way. Cute. That was a nice little walk, but now I'm going to the van to get some coal. Take my trusty sack barrow. So we've had a few comments about how we wash on our narrowboat. Um, we wash like anybody else does. 
we actually have a tiny little bath. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you our little, I mean, some of you may have seen our bathroom before, but I just thought I'd show you. Oh, he has done it with candles. I'll put the light on though. This is our tiny little bath. So yeah, you have to kind of get in there with your knees up. Just thought I'd show you. Bath time. So this morning I'm going to make a start on the sourdough bread. The good thing about the boat in winter is it's really warm so it's actually a really great place for, for making bread. Because bread... we have the fire on so yeah, much. The bread rises really quick. Uh, that's my stomach rumbling so we're off to Nantwich aren't we? Mm -hmm. we yeah we're go going to Nantwich. Some, breakfast, some cafes, we're doing a cafe run. We need to upload a video and stuff because the internet here is really bad isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's go. Let's go upload. Oh, it's a mess in here. Nantwich, we didn't really document any of that. We were supposed to have a really nice relaxing lunch out, but we've had some really stressful days recently, the most stressful in a long time, all to do with ferry tickets. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, um, we're back at the boat now. Oh, it's so sunny, it's amazing. Also, we ended up buying some wood and coal. <laughs> Well done, Alan. That was... Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> she hasn't got the best balance because she had an accident when she was little. She's got a bit of a funny tail. Can't believe how nice the weather is recently. Yeah. Beautiful. You going up there? Got a bit of ice there? Yeah, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to put it above the bed. Um. Great idea. You're a crystal dragon. That'll stay there for a while, won't it? Until Benny gets a wet pillow. Peg's come out. Yeah, just doing it again. Because we're on a long stretch, people keep going past really fast. It's and then it rips soft soil as well. Yeah, and it rips the pegs push, out. I can like push the peg in. Oh. At the start, that should be better. I always forget oil. But... Salt? No, the salt goes in tomorrow. Oh. You leave the salt for a little bit later. Hmm? It's to do with science. <laughs> so they say. Yes, this is more like that. So it's, it's kind of late-ish, so we're probably going to leave it until tomorrow and finish it tomorrow. We've just got up. Alan's always quite cuddly in the morning. She's happy to get the day started. It's super icy outside. And I've got the fire stoked up a bit. <laughs> Hi. It's Hello. hard to get up. I believe in you. It's so warm in here and it's got cold. This is the first morning when I felt like it's really cold. Yeah, it's cold down this end, isn't it? You said the river, the river, the canal's frozen. Yeah, and the window. Oh, good. It's a bit frosty. I'm going to get up, but it's difficult. It's all cosy in here. I know, but you can do it. Okay, it's time. It's time to get up. So, yeah, the canal's frozen, but just check out how this ice has, like, grown up the front of the uh, crouch cover glass. It's pretty weird. It's amazing. So yesterday we bought some wood because 
as you saw in my little walk, I didn't find any. And I'm very glad we did. Because it's a bit chilly. Wood is great for getting a fire nice and toasty. And this is what Benny's bread is looking like this morning. It needs to be folded in on itself. I just uh, wanted to say, Alan, I'm really glad that you've sat next to it and not on it today. been warming up there yeah it's got massive and then we'll get it cooked final stage Alan careful of my work don't stand on the work please careful you we'll get, see if it works we don't know loaves. if this is this may not work we might do it and open the oven and it'll be like a flipping chocolate cake or something <laughs> and then you'll be like what did you put in it what was the secret ingredient to that then and I'd be like, I don't know, maybe some cat hairs fell in it and it turned into a chocolate cake. That's disgusting. Her hairs are known to be magical. That's why we breathe them in all day. Oh my goodness sake. My hairs are magical. I sue him. I'm Patreon. Get my hairs. Does anyone want Alan's hairs as a reward on Patreon? Let us know. <laughs> that would be the worst. Felt Patreon. helmets. <laughs> You are a felt helmet, aren't you, Alan? When I grow up, I want to be a felt helmet, baby. Just let it get big again, and then we're going to get the oven on and do the final phase. Nice. Shush now. Rest and grow. Grow plump. Baby. Oh Oops. my god. Ah, there's the bean. Okay, so the bread is ready to bake. It is a bit sticky in the bowl, but that's part of the thing. Then it sort of does a front oh, flip. Oh wow, that was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, and then the lid on, and then it's going in. Okay, so let's see how it's looking. Oh, I think it's done. yeah. Another fantastic loaf. But Benny, ah. quite brown on the bottom, but it looks good. It's quite late now though, it's like 29. It's time for film or? Chill times, yeah? Something like that, yeah. Time to take it easy, let this cool down, might One try One more poke. <laughs> I just really like that sound. Okay. Midnight feast for he. Time to test the bread. It works. <laughs> Happy? Do you want to try it? Yeah. It's so good. It's always good. Someone's purry this morning. Morning. Hello. We've run out of food. The fridge is looking incredibly sad. It's time to go shopping then. Oh, hey! Let's go. <laughs> or me, I'll go. Yeah, I've got to finish off all, all these guys. Okay, let's get some logs. Cold, hasn't it? Success. Right, what's next? Right, I'll just get this recycling done and then it's off to the supermarket. Right, that's done. And I'm back. Just like that. Here he is with all the shopping. Oh my god, he's got so much stuff. It's even worse at this time of year with the muddy towpaths. Just a couple of bits. Oh wow. Right, I'll pass you some things now. Okay. Muddy. 
the mud that's just dropped off it. Oh, oh look at that! <laughs> oh no! Sunday, isn't it? And we're roast. having a roast. <laughs> roast night. Roast night. I didn't, even, night. I didn't actually even know it was Sunday to be honest. Benny just pointed that out. Got a big fat corn roast. You put it on the pizza tray and all the liquids <laughs> pouring through it. Through the holes. Why, <laughs> Benny? What do you mean why? You I don't always know what put to it do on the pizza now. tray. Yeah, that's not the one that went through my finger. This is the one that went through your finger. Yep. That's what it sounded like. Oh, Benny. That's what it looked like. Oh, stop it. That's our well, dinner. Let's taste it, see if it tastes the same as well. Oh, stop it. Mm, Go away. Yeah, it does. It's like Christmas dinner again. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Yes, that's right. Those are chips. <laughs> They're kind of like roast potatoes, aren't they, basically? Yeah. Can't have a roast without Dijon. Can you, Alan? Mm. You've got your Bic Bics. You've got your Din Dins. Mm. So purry today. I'm so excited about this food. Yes. <sighs> so Bat I know you're puddles. hungry, but and I'm hungry, but can I show you the design that it got inspired by somebody's comment on about merch? Please. Okay. All right. Here you go. All right. Right. So here's the. Oh, I'm gonna eat my dinner. Have you guessed what it is yet? That's right. It's an Alan Draft excluder. So like, if you can imagine this. Look, it's exactly like her. So if you can imagine this. Right, there's the door frame. The door. Look how perfectly that fits. Wow, that's meant to be. <laughs> Someone suggested we make Alan door draft excluder. We don't know merch. how we can make it's it work. It's the yet. best suggestion we have um, to say. Okay, should we just eat our dinner, please? All right. Look, fine, look fine. how great it looks. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Sorry. Sorry. I just had. That was the moment. It had to happen. But you do look like a draft excluder, Alan. I'm sorry. Okay. I treated myself to the fresh one. Mm, I think it's a good idea. The other one's looking slightly discoloured. <laughs> mhm. Mm Don't mark it my image. You'll get sued. I'm really full too. Mm -mm -mm. I could still have a chocolate pot though. Chocolate pot? Yeah. I got chocolate pots. Yeah. Well, that's good news. Shout. <sighs> Let's go. What are you doing out here? Scraping. Scraping? What are you making? Just trying to make this bit of wood good again. I was going to just cut it up, but I struggle to part with wood. I know you do. All right, we'll see you in a bit. This is the old table. Oh, yeah. Earlier, just over here, I saw some sort of stoat guy just like running along here. I tried to film it, so I'll put that in. If anyone can tell me what it is, that'd be great. Perfect. A shelf made out of an old table. Thanks, old Benny. table, new shelf. Good work. Benny's having a real fun time here. DIY in the mud. Everything's covered in mud now. Drill, oh, good. Saw, oh, good. Hammer. Oh. Pizza dough. Oh, oh, yeah. This is gonna be good. Broccoli, mushroom, spinach, mushroom. Can't remember if I already said mushroom. Courgette. Mushroom. Mushroom. <laughs> We're gonna watch Fifth Element. Can you smell it? Benny's got anchovies, hasn't he? You can smell them. Ah, uh, yep. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Time to which to feel. Who's this running up the muddy towpath? <sighs> huh? 
How does that go? All right, it's cold. But yeah, I feel fresh. Yeah. Good. So we have run out of coal, we've run out of water. Um, so, and we need to move anyway, so. We've got to go and turn round. So we need to go further up that way, turn round and then we're gonna come back, get water from where we did before and then need to find somewhere to moor for a couple of days before we go to Nantwich to leave the boat there with my dad. Well, we go to Portugal. So yeah, it's gonna be a very short cruise today. Got your special hat on again. Yeah. It's like a felt, sick, like a felt pirate hat. We are at sea, <laughs> so it's fitting. Very calm today, isn't it? I don't feel like I did a very good job of that. <laughs> oh well. It worked, we turned around. We turned around, I just did it in a bush instead of in the actual, that was the first time I've done it, but he normally does that. You just started the turn a bit early, that's all. Yeah. But it did, nothing bad happened, so no. it's fine. Right, we've had a slight change of plan. I'm gonna go and get coal and meet Benny where we're gonna moor up, which is where we were a bit longer than a few weeks ago. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go in the van and meet him there. And it just saves us cycling back. There's Barbridge Junction. Yeah, we're nearly there, round the corner now. And we're here. I've moored up. I did message Emily, but I don't think she's got it. I'll give her a ring now. Oh, he's already moored up. <laughs> So we'll leave it there for this week. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Hope you've enjoyed a bit of an insight into life on board our boat in the colder times. Thanks to everyone who's bought us a coffee and to all our patrons. Next week we'll be meeting up with my dad who's gonna be looking after the boat and the cat while we go on our two week sort of holiday trip to Portugal. Join us then to yeah. see how that goes. Yeah, as we try and live in an even smaller space yeah. for two weeks. A tiny, tiny van. And also, they say, it seems like it's even colder than it is here in Portugal. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> No, the, day, the days are warmer. The, the nights, days are, are, the warmer. nights are just the nights, as cold or colder. The nights colder. are colder. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thanks yeah. so much. See you next week. Hey. Bye.